you can laugh, you can have a good time, but these people are dangerous, especially when they're drunk, especially when they're high. I know what it means, damn it, I'm not a dog. I'm gonna get pneumonia if I can't take my shoes off. We're gonna take your shoes off for you in a second, all right? Is this a joke or am I really going to jail? You're in jail. Good. For what? You're here. If this was a joke, I would be drinking. Hey, hey, officer with the badge, why don't you go down to 6th Street if you want to find some drunks? I'm coherent. I've been arrested for public intoxication. I don't go to 6th Street anymore. Oh, well, I've been arrested for public intoxication. And guess what? I haven't drinking a beer all day. You have mental health issues? Yeah, I do, and you've wrongfully arrested me. I, I didn't mean to, sir, but uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Right. Put me in my room. Take oh. care of these handcuffs. Oh, I'm going to catch pneumonia if I can't get these shoes off. I want my own cell. I want a fireplace. I want a nice view. Most drunks don't say that, huh? Face that way and don't move. I am facing whatever way you're putting me. Damn, I have nothing on me. I'm in my pajamas. You want to feel like you want to kill yourself tonight? What are you talking about? I never wanted to kill myself. The Man, why don't you again? What's wrong with you? Do you know you're on face the and don't Yeah, move. yeah, you, you pig. You got any medical problems? Yeah, you for being personal. Take this handcuff off. You need to place your hand on top of my Oh, counter. one at a time. You know, there's two of them, and there's only one key. I said your hand. I didn't say hands. Yeah, I've got two hands. They're on them, each end of my arms. Leave it right there. Don't move your hand. Oh, that sure is nice. Hands on the counter. Leave your hands there. What should I do with this hand, officer? Just put it down. All right, Billy, you want to take your shoes off? Take no, your... what do you think I've been asking for? Oh, no. See, they say, do you want to take your shoes off? I say, yes, they handcuffed me again. You can't turn around on these officers, all right? And all I wanted to do was take my shoes off. That's all I've been asking for for the last hour. Okay, they asked me if I want to take my shoes off. I say, yes. What do you Oh, yeah, APD's finest. OK, come on, brother. Can you take the socks off, man? They're still soaking wet. Damn. Can you unhand me? Wait a minute. All I really want to do is take my socks off. I'm not going to touch your hey, dirty socks. Hey, dumbass, I'm handcuffed, you stubby Mexican. That's husky Mexican. APD's stuck to hear me. I flink you all, so I'm handcuffed. Pardon me? You got any medical problems? I thought it was a stubby. Yeah. <laughs> He was uh, on Far West Boulevard, uh, it's a convenience store. They wouldn't sell him any more beer. When the state of Texas, if you sell alcohol to a uh, intoxicated person, it's um, it's a criminal charge. So this gentleman right here, he flags down these two police officers and his wisdom and in his thinking, they won't sell me beer. So he actually flagged down the, the police to complain that they wouldn't sell him any more beer. It's not his first time here. Every time he comes in, he creates a, a ruckus. He wants everything his way. Well, in here, you just don't get it that way. Next time, don't flag down the cops because you, they won't sell you beer. Go get on the phone first. We just need to take your picture. You're here so often. I know, I know. But it's been a while. Right there. Keep your voice down. I'm accidentally in jail. It was a complete accident, I swear. Because they tried to arrest me for doing something I wasn't even doing. They say I'm drunk. Don't I sound pretty coherent? I don't know. All right, good night. That's how you do it. Hey, Billy, you done? I'm done. That's it? I'm done. Mom, I'm in jail. Come and get me. Come no, on. No, it's not the mom that's worried. It's that pregnant girl at home. I don't want to be in that room. I know about that room. It looks like this. I want a place to lay down, right? Just lay like... down on the floor. Man, you're... Come on. Lay down on the floor. Thank you. You're not Alcohol is like a big factor in our society, especially the criminal justice society, because that is the major factor of everybody. 
seems to be. Everybody gets alcohol in them. Everybody's got a point to prove. Everybody wants to tell you what they think. I'm a superstar. You better get out of here. Okay. Glenn, remember what I said. You don't want to come in here. And don't speak. say my name, dude. All right, man. It's your charges. Go ahead, dude. I do anything. We've got one of our prisoners out in the intake area. He's handcuffed to our intake bench waiting to be searched. And he's started pulling against the handcuffs. He's starting to injure his wrists. So if he doesn't stop, we're going to have to restrain him further in order to prevent him from injuring himself. What we'll do is we'll put him in what we call the bodyguard restraint system, which will restrict his movement and prevent him from being able to hurt himself. Glenn? Hey, uh, why don't you back up before I hurt you? Stop it. Let's, uh, let's get him on the phone. Why don't you all get away from me? Stop, stop moving. Stop moving. I'm not going to touch you guys. I'm just going to stop start moving. You don't need to knock yourself out. These guys will do it for you. Okay, let's take him forward and then we'll convert the cuffs. Yeah, I'll convert to whatever you want. Take down on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Take down on your stomach. Well, let me get to my knees, please. Kneel down. Okay. There you go. Please. Will you do me a favor and take this bag off my head before I freak out? Please. Let's turn her. You have fun. Dude, take this bag off my head before I freak out. I can't handle this. No, I can't handle this bag on my hand. Take it off. Stop. Stay still. Please take it off. Please, I'm talking. Oh, you're talking, you're fine. You're talking, oh, you're fine. Fine. Please Stop take moving. the bag off. Glenn. I can't see. Leg wraps coming in from okay. this side. Don't, don't. Get his legs together and secure. Dude, don't do that. Hey, the one who's had him touch him, please don't pull that hurt. Oh, okay. oh, there's a lot of you guys over here. Okay, chest harness. Oh, God. Can I, can I move my feet like this? I'm so sorry, you guys. Pick him up. I'm and everything. Let's take him to P2. Oh, my God. Turner, grab the camera. Pull the gurney out, drop him up in the back corner, we'll just leave him until he's done trying to hurt Sorry, guys. I didn't feel like this. More in the corner? I don't know. Yeah, sit him in the corner. There we go. Oh, God. Let's leave him there. My back hurts. My back's sore. Glenn will check you out once you calm down a little bit. We ended up putting him into the bodyguard restraint system. He pulled his legs through the handcuffs while he was sitting on the bench, and he was attempting to bite himself and injure himself some more. This is a safe way to do it. Bodyguard restraint system, it keeps them in a sitting position where they can breathe. We'll follow up with him, see if we can get him to calm down, make sure he's safe, and then we'll give him a chance to sober up and finish processing him. Hey, there's your cuffs it. back. Um, can you tell me a little bit I didn't see what this guy was brought in on. What was his deal? Why did we bring him in? He was brought on public intoxication and trespassing. He walked into someone else's house, was drunk, and uh, they asked him to leave. He left, came back, and was fighting. Um, so when we got there, he was pretty belligerent, uh, yelling at us, put him in cuffs, put him in the back seat, and he was hitting his head on the, on the door. So I put him in his seat belt, and he was trying to choke himself out. You know, a lot of crazy stuff like okay. that. Okay. Well, thank you. No you guys problem. have a safe night, yeah. and we'll take care of him. Take care. We're going to go talk to Glenn, see if we can get him to calm down, maybe take the bodyguard off of him, and he'll be able to calm down a little better than what he's doing right now. Hey, Glenn? I've been locked up for six hours. 
Glenn. Uh, uh, <laughs> Glenn. I can't move. If we take this. I can't breathe. I can't see. Okay, Glenn. Yeah. If we take this off of you, will you calm down? And as long as I can see. If, if you start fighting with us, I'm going to leave you in this. No, sir. No, sir. As okay, as relax. See. Let's get you out, okay? Can I roll? Just hang where you're at. We're going to leave the cuffs on for now, but let's take the bodyguard off. Let's start with the chest harness. I could really roll if I wanted to. Okay. Thank you so much. Behave yourself, all right? Yes, sir. Just calm down. Don't try to fight when we're taking this off. I just want this face thing off. We'll take that off last. Take the leg wrap off. Roll into prone. Wow. Okay, Glenn, we're going to stand you up, then we'll take that off your head. You guys should have done that before you put me on. You get the cuff port, boy. I'm not walking into a wall. All right, boy, just put your, keep your nose in that corner, all right? Yes, sir. Until yes, I tell sir. you to back up. Yes, sir. All right? We successfully got him out of the bodyguard restraint. It just seemed to be agitating him more than it was helping him to calm down. He was in the bodyguard restraint for a total of 34 minutes. To him, it felt like six hours, but it really wasn't very long at all. Um, Hopefully now, without the bodyguard restraint on, he'll be able to calm down a little bit and we'll be able to get him processed a little later. Hey Buford. What's up? Police department just brought in a transgender. We should go make contact with him because we might need to separate him. All right. Everybody have a seat on the bench. Apparently what's going on is he was soliciting prostitution. When they contacted him, they found out he had a parole hold. He's been brought back in several times on a violation of parole. Can you go ahead and pick your shoes up? Go and pick your shoes up. I'm going to stick through here. There's a phone right there. Come on this way, and we're going to fingerprint you for a second. Come step right over here for me, Rodney. Stand right here from her. So do you know why you're here today? Uh, yeah. Get your right hand. For a uh, parole violation warrant. Okay. You know you're a parole fugitive? Yeah. Okay. So so tell me, why is it that uh, you chose this type of lifestyle? Um, do you mean the, the transgender? Or? Yeah, the transgender lifestyle. Um, I just kind of always felt like a girl, so. Um, Are you taking I actually moved out here to get on hormones. Really? So. Are you currently on hormones? Uh -huh. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to stay in mainline or do you prefer to be in the... Uh... Um, I did fine on mainline. Um, other people didn't, mm -hmm. you know. I actually am lucky enough to be able to fight fairly well, so... Really? Um, I went through like eight fights in two months when I first went to Donovan. Really? Yeah. You ever fought while you've been here in county jail? Um, yeah, I have. Actually, the last time I was here. Really? What happened? Um, one of the girls that was out there, I guess, was from Oceanside. Mm -hmm. and doesn't care too much for hey, Gold Camp. Where the people from down here kind of were all they're a little better than us up there, and I had to show her other one. All right, well, come this way. We're gonna go ahead and walk this red line, and we're gonna take you up and get you uh, the rest of the booking process. Right. We're gonna take you into this room up here, and we're gonna uh, pretty much change out into some jail blues. Okay. Go ahead and step inside, please. Go over to number three. We're going to be going to contact somebody right now. Uh, apparently, he was uh, fighting with the we had a disagreement with two of the other guys that just came in. I guess he's a little drunk. We're going to go contact him see if he needs to be put into a uh, sobering cell. Hey, man, what you drink tonight? I drank everything but vodka. Everything but vodka? How much did you drink? I drank about two ounces of uh, Go this way. So what do you want to fight with these guys for? Because they're not from my party. I'm from SD. They're from LA. So do you like to fight when you're drunk? No, I don't like them. When you don't like them? Like, when they're not where I'm from, I don't like them. I like I like Kobe Bryant one time. I like him to win, but I'm I'm a schizophrenic, paranoid. Okay, well, we're, now I we're actually, gonna. I actually want to fight him. 
Fight who? I'm gonna fight LA. I'm SD. All right, step inside. Go down to your knees. Go down. Okay, stay here. Don't move. You understand? Well, he's going to be in there for at least six hours. So, have you ever used PCP? No, actually, I didn't. It's a, it was actually like uh, Rocco. He was actually high on meth. It wasn't PCP. I'm sorry. It was meth? It was all a lie. What was it? It was just uh, a natural high. It goes something like this. Take to the sky on a natural high. All right, Vincent, I'll talk to you later, all right? Yes, Lord. You take care. Yes, Lord. All right, man. Yes, Lord. Vincent came in here uh, a week ago. He was uh, high on PCP. Right now, he's, uh, he's just drunk right now. And then once he's out of there, he'll be released, and he'll be back in a few more days, drunk or high again, and we'll help him out. Turn to your left over here. We're going to let you see the medical nurse right here. Yes. Yeah. Do me a favor. Step on the scale right here. Do you know how tall you are? Six foot. OK. Go ahead and have a seat. OK. So what do you do now for work? Um, I'm a prostitute. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm really. Do you find that hard to do here in San um, Diego, being a, a male? No. How does it Actually, work? Actually, um, there is a huge market for what I am, not just in San Diego, but in a lot of this part of the country, and I'm sure probably the country over. You ever run into any trouble with, with any of that? Um, I have. Um, I got, yeah, most recently uh, slapped by one. Mm -hmm. um, I, usually it's because, like, um, you don't want to do something they want you to do. Mm -hmm. You don't react the way they want you to react. You know? um, but for the most part, I, I think most of the guys are, are well behaved and well mannered. You know? All right, Rodney, we're going to take you up to your housing unit. So, uh, are you a little happier you're staying here instead of going to George Bailey? Yes, I am. What's the reason for that? Um, because they put us all in such a small area, mm -hmm. you know? They cram all of us in there, and everybody's on hormones. Imagine cramming like 12 PMS into one room and how the outcome of that would be. Well, Ronnie, it was a pleasure talking with you. Yeah. I hope everything works out for you. Okay. I, hope, uh, I hope you can stay out of jail, OK? OK. Take care. Me too. He's on, in here on a parole hold. Hopefully he can stay out. Maybe he won't. Only time will tell. You're gonna speak on Obama. Why? I'm not gonna do I'm, I'm kicking it right here, bro. I'm All in right. a tuxedo. You're in a tick tock, homie. Excuse me? You in Keep the Keep talking. Your, your process will take a Let's lot longer. Let's do this guy Whatever. You make the decision. Whatever, dude. I got freedom of speech over here, all right? Come over here. What you gonna do, beat me up? Beat me no, up, I'm dude. not gonna beat you up. I, of course not, of course not. Behind you. Straight up. You're not gonna hey. beat me up? Be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet. Listen. Listen. You Stay guys right. don't scare Stay me, right man. Here. I did three years. You think you're gonna scare me? Okay. Spread your I'm in a tuxedo. You're in a pig uniform. Okay, don't be scared. Who, who said I was gonna be scared? Because loud people like you, that's because Loud people, scared. it's because your homie's trying to make me scared. I'm not, I'm not scared, all right? I did. 1,088 days. Good for you. Because they're yeah. scared. Let's do a blood draw. So we'll put them in the street. Perfect. Let's go. Face that way. Do I look like a criminal to you? Maybe I make more than you, all right? Come on, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, we're going to take you up the piece here. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Listen, you're going to sit in this chair for a, a bit, okay? Till you calm down. Then they're going to take you out. So are you mad about the way they arrested you or something or what? What do you think you're going to get out of being uncooperative? Nothing. I'll be out in 12 hours. You won't hours. be. You won't be, because we can delay your... Delay it. Especially the way, with, the way you're delay acting. Delay it. It doesn't scare me, okay? I'll do the whole time on my head. 
So you think you're big because no, you serve time in prison? Scare me. It doesn't scare me. It doesn't scare People me. that talk like you is because they're really scared. What should I say? Leha. Leha. Yes. Señora, I took six IME use of 400 milligrams each. I took that six for IME use. Why? My birthday. It's your birthday? He doesn't know yet that saying he wanted to kill himself is a serious issue with us. He's going to be put in this room for his own protection. He's going to get stripped out. Everything's going to be taken away from him because we do take it seriously. If anything does happen, we want to avoid as much as we can. So it's been a few hours now that uh, Felipe has been in this cell. We're going to check up on him and see what his attitude is like now. Hi, Felipe. How you doing? I'm OK. You all right? Yeah. What's going on? Why were you so upset out there? A month and a half ago, I got a ticket for failing to yield. Oh, OK. Feel same officer. I got a ticket for that. I got an accident. The same officer that arrested you same tonight? Same officer that, uh, that arrested me. OK. And I, I told him, I remember you. I remember you. Yeah. He kept on, and, oh, you're drunk. Uh -huh. But the thing is, I, I actually took four IVUs, which dazed me 15 minutes prior to my exit. OK. I go home. Like you, still, you still decided to drive? I decided to drive. Okay. But if you look at my record, I've been in prison, man. I, I, I'm going to let, let you know. I, I got a record. You, you run me up. I haven't had a ticket since. Since then. It's been almost three years. He gave me a hassle, gave me a hassle. His other buddy cop comes up in a big old van. I'm like, oh, you guys taking me to jail. Since then, from then on there, I was being mm -hmm. not a but I was keeping it real. The other guy was just being a pig. Then on, I was like, whatever, dude. You know what? I F you, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you, F you. Whatever. Listen, um, I'm going to go over and see uh, when Site can come over and talk to you so they could decide to uh, get you some clothes and stuff like that, okay? Thank you for being Thank cooperative much, with brother. me, okay? I really do appreciate it, okay? All right. Uh, He's got a bit of a prison attitude. One that makes him feel like he's a tough guy it's just because he's been to prison. And, um, you know, they talk about it. Sometimes it's because they want it to be known so nobody messes with them because, you know, they are in jail again and they don't know how long it's going to be. Hey, ma'am, how old are you? 71. 71? Have what? you ever been in jail before, ma'am? Yes. Yeah? What for? <laughs> Ask my attorney. <laughs> Don't tear it, please. I'm not tearing it. Ooh, Mary. calm down. What for? Thank you for not. Ooh, calm down. Settle down. Yeah, you need to relax. Yes. Oh, I'm so relaxed. Ooh, no, you you're not. No, no, no. You keep your hands away from you know, her. You know I mean, that you're in jail and this you're is what we me do. Nervous. Okay. Good, good. You put your hands on the wall then. You leave them there. You let the officer do her job. And you don't move those hands. I know you love your job. Actually, I do. I get pretty, pretty good. I love my job. The hours aren't too bad. Okay, gotta put your hands down to your sides, man. Up here. Come here. I need to put You need to settle down. Oh, she's going to have to do a blood draw now, which might be difficult. The older people will sometimes have difficulty giving their blood, so we'll have to see how that goes. All right, she's all yours. Joan, all the way down the end. We're going to go into our medical room over here. Go seat in that big blue chair for All right, this should be very interesting. I'm going to grab the officers and get them ready. You know we're going to have to draw some blood from you, right? Ma'am? Yes. Where were you hanging out tonight, Joan? I stopped in Planet Hollywood and had a glass of Chardonnay at the Hot Bar. Just one? Yes. Okay. Do you frequent Planet Hollywood? Is that like your place of it's, where uh, you usually hang out? 
<clears throat> I will never hang out there again. I, uh, I learned my lesson. Valet arrested me. Valet for waiting arrested for you? my car or whatever. Okay, I was the one that arrested you, not Valet. Security called, though. Because you were stumbling around in ballet. Exactly. And you almost got hit by a car. They saved your life tonight. You want to put your sleeve down for you? Thanks. I appreciate it. I gotta put the handcuffs back on you. Uh, of course. What am I, a serial killer? 319. No, man. I had a glass of Chardonnay. Nope. Serial killers get the, the cuffs on their ankles, too. You just get the ones on your wrist. No, they get off. No. All right, ma'am, what I need you to do is have a seat in that very last row for me, okay? <coughs> she just needs to start settling down. Oh, oh you, you missed it, Joan. Far, Joan, Joan, right here. This is the last row. With, with all the other ladies. Anywhere in this row. No? Oh, she told me it was the first time. What else was she here for? Uh, trespassing and a uh, whole bunch of fraud. Oh. Frauding an innkeeper. Disorderly conduct. Wow, Joan. Is it all you get to drink? It's just one Chardonnay? Yes. That's it? Was it the whole bottle or just a glass? One glass. Oh, one glass. It's a big glass. All right, we'll come back and talk to you in a little bit. All right, so what happened with Joan out there on the street? Planet Hollywood security called about a woman that had got into a car who was drunk because she almost got run over by a limousine in the valet, and then she proceeded to get into her vehicle and drive away. We stopped her over uh, a few a few blocks away from Planet Hollywood. She refused to get out of her vehicle. She sat in there, said that we were stalking her and harassing her, and finally she got out of the vehicle and she could barely stand up. Nice. Not much more we can do for her. Yeah. Joan, it's time to get you through the process. You got it? Careful now, don't fall over. Walk this way over here, right through this open door. There's gonna be a gray square on the ground to your left. I want you to stand in the middle of that gray square. Excellent, look straight ahead at the camera, right straight ahead. Don't forget to smile. Okay, I need you to turn your whole body to the right and look straight ahead for me, okay? No smile on this one either? All right. We're gonna get you through the pat down process there, young lady. Two other photos of when she's been in previously. But she was in here last April for obstructing and then she was in here in uh, 1994 as well. Wow, so, she looks a lot different. way different okay. there. Yeah. All right, Joan, I need you to start taking off all your jewelry. Where shall I put my jewelry? Go ahead and hand them to me, ma'am. There you go, baby. Thank you. It's all yours. I'm so stupid to walk around with jewelry. Hell, since I was born, I've had people stealing my jewelry. I shouldn't even wear it. We're gonna have you sign. Such a waste. We're gonna have you sign for everything. So oh, you get blah, it all back. blah, I know. Here, do you want me to help you? No. Why not? You can't seem to get it off. It takes a bit. Why? You're loving it, right? Can you hand it to me instead of setting it on the chair, please, ma'am? Oh, of course, darling. Thank you. I'll help you if you want. I don't know how to take it off. Here, let me help you. Taking it all together. Here, I'm good at this. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Joan. Here, let go so we can get this off. <coughs> Woo, careful there. I'm just trying to help you out here, Joan. It's too bad one little drink has done this to you today. Joan's been in here for quite a while now already, and uh, she's been a little irritated ever since she's been in here. We've been trying to do our best to help her understand, but she doesn't seem to want to accept much of our help. Who are you going to call when you're able to use the phone? My godfather. Your godfather? Is he going to be able to help get you out tonight? What? Is he going to be able to help get you out, like pay bail? What is my bail? Um, $2,000. $2,000. So, Wonderful. But here's the good news. Are you ready for the good news, Joan? No. Where are you going? I don't believe in good here. news. Come on over here, man. OK, I was going to try to tell you how we are going to get you out of jail tonight. The first one here is for your money at $5 with you when you came in tonight. 
You have to feel bad for people who are this old and, and don't really seem to understand things. But in the reality of it is, she was still out there drinking and driving. And this is actually the best thing for her to get her off of the street tonight. I'm going to have you do is have a seat in one of the first three rows up front with the other ladies, OK? Have a seat up front for me. It's just sad seeing somebody that old coming in in that kind of shape. Yeah, she definitely probably has something going on in her life that's making it difficult for her. So hopefully we'll be able to get her to understand that she should not be drinking and then getting behind the wheel of a car anymore. Tara was brought in tonight by Sandy Police. Apparently she was upset. She was found in a movie theater, throwing her shoes at the building. We're going to have to keep a close eye on her because her mood seemed to change up and down. Tara, you're going to be good for me, right? Absolutely. All right, that's what I thought. Come on over, Tara. Turn and face that down, OK? Do you have anything on you that could stick to ever poke me? No, ma'am. Any knives, needles, no, guns, drugs, weapons? No. Listen, listen to me, please. So you know what you're answering, all right? Yes, ma'am. if I find it, that's enhanced charges, OK? Do you think? Knives, needles, I guns, drugs, weapons? I don't. Do you have any body piercings? Nipples, belly button, hood, Body piercings, tongue? yes, on this ear, over here. OK, anything that brush. I can't see? No, ma'am. All right, Tara. Did you have anything to drink tonight? I did. What'd you I'm drink? I had gin, and I'm 21 Something years old. That... I can understand, especially why those two officers right there in the car would assume that I'm an aggressive person, because I am. <laughs> Who isn't? Huh? There you go. All right, Tara. So far, so good. Let's continue on, OK? Let's take. Are you starting to cry now? We got your handcuffs off. Don't start crying. I'm not. Okay, take off this purple shirt, please. Okay, put your hands back up on the mat. You're all right. All right. Go ahead and bend over and peel off your socks for me, please. Can you peel? You might want to. Okay. Stand up. Let me help you. Let me help you. You're okay. You got it? All right, stand up. Put your hands back up here. Hands on the mat. All right, Tara, you're doing great. We're almost done. It's okay, just relax. <laughs> just, just breathe. Let's get those earrings out. Okay. Kind of put the glove over. Can I just put oh, my hands up for a second? That's okay. Um, just keep working on that. <laughs> no, this one is not. Um, it's just kind of. It does not come out very well, actually. None of them do, do they? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they kind of give you the person. Turn this way first. All right, girl. Okay. You're all right. Okay, Tara. <laughs> Face me. Okay. Put your hands up like this. Turn them like this. Pinkies up. Put them in your mouth. Go open around so I can see all your teeth. No, no, I want to see your teeth. You're OK. Down so I can see your teeth. I see all your gums and stuff. Down. Go down. OK, open away. Open. Say, ah. ah. Perfect. OK. Bring it, lean over. Mm. Why are you holding on to that? Just relax. I'm not Bend comfortable. at your waist. I'm not comfortable. OK, stand up. Let's go inside. Go inside. There you go. All right, you're going to be OK, okay Tara. Thank you. We're going to leave her in here for a little while till she sobers up, calms down. And she's not quite coherent and understanding the full totality of her visit here to the jail. We'll give her a few hours sober up, then we'll try and get her through the process here. A check on prisoner. We put her in here earlier for intox and just odd behavior. And she's just been really emotional. Tara, how you doing? Good. You feeling any better? Yeah, you feel like you can get through the process? Get fingerprinted, photographed? Yes. OK, come on up here. Stand with your back right there. Then she's going to check you out, OK? Are you hurt anyway? Yes, on my wrist. From the handcuffs? Yes. Can you put your finger in here? We'll check out your wrist here just so I'm just trying to It should be fine. Are you hurt anywhere else inside your wrist? Not that I'm aware of. After speaking with our mental health staff, as well as our medical staff, it's apparent that after a couple hours, she was able to sober up. Her emotional state has become much, much more stable. And now it looks like she's ready to go through the booking process. So our job now is to move her through the system and get her going through the process as quick as we can. Yes, 
So tell me what's going on with Ryan. Uh, he was brought in by Salt Lake City PD for urinating at the club into a sink, and then he started fights with the bouncers and things like that. So he's really agitated. Okay. Well, it sounds like he's uh, getting upset, so we'll just have to be careful with this one. All right. Hey, Ramson. Turn around. Yeah. Face the mat. There you go. Relax. Here's your feet. There you go. Perfect. You been drinking today? Yes, I've been drinking! Hey, hey fighting you, wife. Fight me. Relax. Brian. I am relaxed. Hey, Why are you relaxed? Calm down. You been drinking today? Yes! How much? A lot. Okay. You been here before? No! Can you calm down? Yes! Okay, then calm down, bud. I am calm. Would you stop yelling? Yes! Hey, yeah, they just touched my balls. I felt they touched my balls again. It felt good, I'm not gonna lie. I like All it. right. Hey, thanks for serving America. Good job. Good job, America. Hey, good job, America. Okay, we're gonna be using this tether to, oh, uh, a tether. to remove your, yeah, to remove your jacket, okay? So tether me, because I'm so Hold aggressive. On. Tether me because I'm such a harm against America. Hey, Ryan, you need to relax. I am relaxed. Am I fighting you? Am I punching you in the face? Make sure we adjust those hands. Yeah, yeah, readjust it. Readjust it because I'm such a harm to humanity. If you think I'm a harm, if you think I'm an endangerment, no, you're, you're doing all great. gonna burn. You're all gonna burn. You're doing great, Ryan. Yeah, Just I'm relax. doing great. Because I didn't fight it. Yeah, hurt me, mother. Hurt me. Right, I got Ryan, I walk, okay? Oh, I'm walking, I'm walking backwards. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, my brother's a cop. He's hurting me. I ain't hurting you. You guys are hurting me. You hurt. Yeah, throw me. Throw me. Throw me right here. Right here, Ryan. Okay, lift up your foot. Okay, Ryan, listen up, bud. You're gonna back up. You're gonna pull your arms through the cuff port so you can remove these cuffs from you, okay? So bend your knees, pull your arms out. All right, walk inside, bud. I want to leave. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Ryan. All you need to do is sober up a little bit. We'll get you out and, tell you, and let you know exactly what's going on with you, OK? Yeah, I So keep sober. doing exactly what you're doing, and we'll get you out here in a little bit and uh, get you booked in. Crowther. Yep, Crowther. Hey, Crowther. I know a lot of Crowthers. Should I just go sit down? Yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Thanks, Ryan. As soon as he uh, sobers up a little bit more, he'll be ready to get out and go through the process. Uh, he seems like just got a little bit too uh, rambunctious with the alcohol tonight. Check on Ryan, see how he's doing. Seems like he's calmed down a little bit. Ryan, you doing a little bit better? We'll get you down to another cell and get you booked in, okay? All right, thanks, Ryan. Ryan, stand up, please. You gotta stand up so the nurses can check you, Ryan. Oh, careful, guy, careful. Just back, up. Just back up a little bit. You're all right. No, other way, other way, other way. Come towards us. You been drinking today? Yeah. I fight for freedom. What okay. do you fight for? Freedom, too. Me, too. I want to just be a safe citizen. OK. I don't try and hurt anyone. Looks like Ryan has uh, cooperated with nurse checks, and we'll be moving him down to a drum tank here shortly. Another hour or two, we'll get him through the booking process, and we'll get him out of here as quick as we can. I'm in charge of the reception floor and the booking counter, so basically making sure that everybody's safe and searches and things like that when they come in. Some of the skills it takes working down here, I'd say the most foremost is uh, being patient. Honestly, that's huge. 
and safety practices. We just got a call about a female combative. Um, they should be here any time now. They want us to meet him in the Sally Port. What's your name? Karen. She, she just very, very, very drunk and very angry. Standard questions. Take these things off me. That's not the answer. Are you uh, diabetic? No. Are you suicidal? Yes. Where and I'm totally drunk, okay? Mm -hmm. You already know that. Yeah, that I know, but that's not one of the questions. Where take these things off my. Don't take my earrings. All this stuff gets put in your property and you'll get it when you get released. Peter. Well, that's not nice that you threw my pearls. Take these off me. I want to take these off my glasses. Well, please. get them to you. Just relax. See. We're taking you out of the car right now, okay? And do not mess with those pearls. Give me the right hand first. Can I have my glasses, please? Okay, listen. Let us do our job. We're going to let you get your glasses on so you can see what's happening. I'm not trying to stop you from seeing, okay? I didn't. Well, do I'm just going to use the ink. It's already on there. This... What do you mean they're smudged? They're smudged. They're all in there, so you can't even tell. I know. And you have my pearls. Don't mess with those pearls, please. We're not. They're going to go in your property. You'll get them when you get released. Now we're going to have to take your glasses off, because you can't have your glasses while you're in the cell, especially since you said you were suicidal. OK? So I'm just going to take them off. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, my glasses. I can't. Turn around and have a seat right here. You can give your chance to sober up. I need to ask you a question. When you first came in, you said you were feeling suicidal. Do you, do you really feel that way today? No, no. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. I don't, I, I don't want to be left in, like, this kind of room. So am I technically arrested, or? You are now in custody of the Multnomah County Sheriff's yes, Office. OK. And I have some concerns, because you mentioned suicide. I'm hoping you were just upset. I'm going to touch base with medical. I want to go home. I, I want to go home. And we're going to work in that direction. I'm going to look and find out where your property is at, and I'll get back with you and let you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. What was Karen's charges? Uh, she is here for mistreatment one, assault three, and harassment. Gotcha. She's at ISO right now. She was talking about she was going to hurt herself, so. She's now on suicide watch. Okay. So just give your heads up. All right. Thank you. Right here on the wall. Look up your name. So listen, do you know why you're in an isolation cell? Because I'm crazy. Because your behavior was less than desirable. <laughs> okay. okay. I... Do, do you think that if you're allowed to come out of this cell that you can conduct yourself appropriately? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to hurt yourself then? No. OK, here's your glasses. Thank you. Stand up. We're ready. When you come, stop, stop, stop moving. When you come out of this room, I want you to, when you come, stop moving. Listen to what I'm saying. Put your shoes on. Is there any so you hear what I'm saying? Cigarette? No cigarettes. You're going to get your picture taken. But I'm the one that called the cops Already. to come to my house. I got you. So why am I being the arrested one with black? fingerprint things on. So look over here at the blue eyes, okay. right? Okay. You... Keep your glasses on. Just looked on the computer, found out that Karen actually is not going home tonight. Probably going to court tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon um, and be arraigned by the judge, especially when she's formally told of her charges. Uh, the intake area here in Sarasota County. We get a different plethora of people that come through here. A lot of agitated people sometimes. A lot of times people are uh, pretty calm and it's easy to deal with, but for the most part, it is a pretty stressful job. You gotta deal with a lot of different people and their attitudes and stuff like that. I don't wanna do that. Please. Have a seat. No, I got some water, please. Have a seat. Sit down. You stay seated. You understand me? Uh, you stop not listening. 
Just relax. Okay. I've told you like seven times. So just relax. They're going to take care of you. My right. This is jail, sir. I know, but this I is I not the street. I got okay, when right. somebody in here tells you to sit down, you need to have a seat. Have when we tell you to do something, you need to do it. All right? I have done anything wrong. Do we have an understanding? I have done anything wrong. Okay, right now, I have no idea what you're arrested for. I know. All right, so you, so you need to sit there and relax. All right? All right. Oh, he's got a warrant for us? Yeah, he's got a warrant out of the SO. He's Go figure, Rich. So I've explained it to him. Like, officer. I've, I've explained it to him like 15 times. Does he just not understand English or is he? No, he, he goes from being cooperative to belligerent to cooperative to be belligerent. So I don't have a warrant. Yes, you do, sir. It's right, it's here. right here. Resisting officer obstruction without violence. That's what your warrant's for. No, I have a warrant. I have it right here. You have a $750 bond. Okay? Please. Sir, step over here for me. All right, I said that. Step over here. For what? Because I told you to. What, did we just not have this conversation? We just had this conversation, right? Yeah. When somebody in here tells you something that you need to do, you need to get up and do it, correct? All right, so I'm asking you to stand up and step over here in front of this window. No, wait for it. OK, you have one more opportunity to stand up. I have to conduct a pat down on you. So you can either stand up over, uh, under your own power and walk over here so I can do my job, or I'll stand you up your, by myself. But I want to know why I got to stand up, you know? All right, you want to play this way? We're gonna play this way, all right? Stand up. Now you wanna stand up. Step over here and face this window. Step over here and face the window. How much you had to drink tonight, man? Spread your feet. A few beers, you know? I don't you sure? Because you're reeking of alcohol. Yeah, I know, but you know I'm free. You obviously speak good English, so I know you understand us. Why are you giving us such a hard time right now? I'm not giving out time. You sure? Because I had to ask you right. 10 times to stand up. I'm not have to be here. He's had to ask you seven or eight times to sit down when you came in the facility. And we don't have any discretion. You have to be arrested under your active warrant. No, okay? But I haven't done everything they asked me for. All you can so. do at this point is just relax. I don't have any work on me. You know that. I respect you, you know? Well, you're not doing a very good job of it right now. You're going to step right over that door. It says photo ID and fingerprint. Okay. Have a seat on that stool right there. All right. What size shoes do you wear? I don't know. You don't know what size shoes you wear? No, I don't think so. Sir, yeah, I highly doubt you're like this sober. I haven't done anything wrong. But I know my rights. I don't have to do that. Sit down. I know, it's not right. Sit down. Listen, okay. I'm, done with, I'm, right. done. I'm done with I'm done. I'm done with you. Right. Okay? I'm done. We've told you 15 times to do know, something, and you don't want to do it. I know that's not right. Crack, uh, Which crack. one? Face the wall. <laughs> Lift your left leg back. What is your problem? I have no problem. You sure? I just say that. Because why do we have to tell you to do something 15 times before you do it? Because I know that's Because you're right. drunk. I'm not drunk. You've had yes, way too much are. to drink. All right, you're going to sit in here, and you're going to relax. You understand? I understand, Do yeah. we need to change? OK, that's the first thing you've understood all night. All right. Watch it. Okay. Have a seat on that stool. Back up. Now sit down. When you're ready to address that warrant, let us know, all right? He's making it so much harder than it has to be. He's going to be in there for at least four or five hours, and hopefully we can get a process here in a little bit. Yeah, he'll sober up, and we'll get to him, I guess, a little bit later. We're going to go over and check on that guy in six, see if we can get him processed. OK. Hey, how you doing? You sober up a little bit? Hey, I see you got your oranges on and everything. You ready to uh, get processed? Yes. All right, stand up. Go ahead. Come on here for me. Come on. There you go. I need both thumbs first, right there, just like that. So how much you have to drink tonight, man? That's it? I mean, you were pretty drunk when you came in here. You don't want to listen to anything I had to say. Yeah. You do understand that you do have a warrant, right? No, I, that's what I'm asking for. Well, earlier I tried I to explain to you. To. But you, you do, though. The judge has signed a warrant what for your arrest. arrest. It's, it's for the obstruction charge. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice but to arrest you when you have a warrant for you. But coming in here and saying you don't have a warrant and then saying, you know, you can do whatever you want, you didn't want to listen to anybody, yeah, you end up getting a holding cell, yeah. getting stuck in there. I'm sorry about that. I need you to have a seat in the day room, second or third row for me, all right? Good luck to you, sir. Unfortunately, when people come in here and they don't want to listen to what we have to tell them, they end up going to a holding cell and costing themselves four or five hours. But now he'll uh, finish getting processed and he'll be able to bond himself out.
Got a call with the code five male, ETA about 30 seconds. Don't have much information other than uh, he's pretty, uh, pretty violent. So we're gonna take a look and see what we got. All right, he's being arrested for DUI. He uh, didn't like that very much. He started fighting on the way to jail. He took his lighter out, started lighting the uh, seatbelt. I got about halfway burnt. He started fighting, kicking officers, kicking myself, and then was able to slip out one of his handcuffs and I was fighting some more. Uh, let me go talk to him. How you doing? Other than being hit in the face and then slammed around, I'm fine. Do you know where you're at? Yeah, I do. Where are you at? I'm actually sitting in a jail, so. When's the last time you uh, drank or smoked some crack or anything like that? You stupid. All right, uh, you're a little out of sorts here, OK? No, I had a couple of drinks, but an hour and a half. You don't got to get insulted. No, 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 no. You're talking about drink or crack, you dumbass. No, I'm going to tell you what. It's clear what's happening here. Uh, the stranger, you don't want you to get that mask on me. No, back it up. I was like, stop resisting, sir. I mean, you might as well relax. You're not touching. You're not touching. At all. Yeah, we can scream in there. Yeah, that's fine. Under Nevada revised statute, you're required to submit to a blood sample for purpose of collecting evidence and no. or medical testing in relation to the charges that you've been arrested for. I refuse. And I say they cannot touch me. Just go for it. No, we're going to loosen up the right arm. So. No, no, no. Or the left. No, you got room no, on the left. No, I swear to God, I will hit somebody. Left. Left. I just is get your elbow out of my chest. Stop resisting. It's going to be done so white white fight it. No. Get the fuck off the desk. Time. That's it. We're good. No. So what is Paul being charged with? Paul has been charged with DUI, failure to use signal, no proof of insurance, open container and vehicle, battery on officer, and tampering or injuring a police vehicle. Uh, I'll make various contacts with him. He's really upset. Okay, I'm going to go down here and talk to Paul. It's been uh, several hours. Uh, he's been segregated, and uh, I'll see where his mind's at. OK, so I have one felony. One gross misdemeanor, and gross misdemeanors. So what do you think I'll probably do, like, straight time on this? Yeah, it's hard to say, you know. Are you on parole? Nope. Okay. I've been off for three years. Oh, OK, so you clean that up? That's good. That's a good thing. That's the first thing I've been in trouble on, you know, for three years. That's good. These are not the crime of the century. No, uh, oh, no, what? I'm looking at maybe, what, 18 months or something like that? No. No. Well, the fellow Not probably. here. Not here. I'm, I'm really happy to see that you've come down. I'm going to have the officer take you out, let you finish up booking. All right, you did good. OK, I, uh, I determined Paul's ready to come and uh, finish out the booking process. And he's seen the error in his ways. I think he'll be manageable. And if not, if he decides to shift the other way, we'll address it. Let's take my hands. Hey, turn around and face wow. the counter. Hey, this is going to go to a real bet. This is going to go to a real bet. Oh, I don't give a f up, man. Get the f out of me. You haven't been searched yet? I don't care. Uh -huh. Over to this counter. You're going to walk on your own accord, or it's going to be a bad day for you. I don't give a Stand up. Get up on your feet. Stand up. Bitches. Hey. You like my ass? Hope you like my ass. This did not have to go this direction. You understand that, right? I gave you the opportunity to conduct yourself like a gentleman. What is he brought in on today? What is he here for? He's currying his car off of Mount Tabor. Oh, whole mountain? Uh, just a little bit of it. Uh, it really wasn't that sure far. It was like just a little bit over the curb. He was proving to his friends that he had balls. Well, there's no friends here for you to have to show off with right now, so there's really nothing for you to prove right now. Like my <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo, you were being so friendly. you. We're going to have to shirt off. Are you going to be combative if these handcuffs come off? I'm going to rest the matter what Cut, Cut the sweatshirt off. All right, get Cut the scissors. It. Sleeves. Get the hell. They're like a seaweed. <laughs> Didn't even have to go this direction with this, man. Turn your head the other way. You can suck my 
Got it. Got it. Got it. Finger. I ain't got it. Stand up. Walk like a grown up. Got it. Okay, you're gonna need to back up to the door and put your hands to the food board. Pull your hands through. So just so you and I are clear, as long as you're in this cell and we don't have your fingerprints and we don't have your mug shots, this is dead time. This doesn't go toward you going home. So until you modify your behavior, you, you stay there. This is not the place for you to try and beat your chest and, and, and have all that bravado going on. It's not designed for you to win that way. You win by acting like an adult. So when he pulled away from you, I was like, OK, it's not just yeah, that he needs to go to the know. bathroom. Did he give you any problems? I mean, he was getting a little lippy on the way down here. He was actually really cooperative at the scene. We kept him out of handcuffs for quite a while until the traffic officer came and you know, did HD on, a, on his eyes and decided to arrest him. And he's pretty cooperative, transporting to the air, and he blew. He took a breath test. He blew a one nine. He said he was driving. He wasn't drinking. The legal limit's .08. He's over, he's over double the legal limit without drinking. The drive down here, he started to get a little lippy, and he was listening to my radio, the police radio, and he started responding to, there was some description of a Hispanic male in an unrelated call, so he's like, oh, Hispanic male, that's what all you look for, and started getting agitated. And once he got in here, I guess he wanted to put on the It's not going to be a good night for him. I can tell that already. <laughs> We're gonna check on Rodrigo, he's an ISO number one. Became uh, disrespectful, somewhat combative with the sergeant and the other guys on swing shift. We're gonna see if he's sobered up a little. Willing to go with the program and come on out. Hi, I'm Deputy Heener. So here's your charge, it's uh, driving under the influence. You also got a reckless driving with it, which generally they go hand in hand because you had to do something to get the police officer's attention. Remember your demeanor, how you were acting when you came in? When you came to jail? OK, well, I can kind of enlighten you on what happened. When you came in, you were in You do know what happened? OK. What I'd like to do is bring you out, let you sit out with the other people, watch some TV. I need to know if you're willing to cooperate. Yeah. All right, come on out. I'd like for you to walk straight up to that counter right there on the end slip. They uh, come in drunk, sit in the cell, sober up, sleep it off, get really cold. It's amazing what three hours in one of those cold cells will do to somebody that is under the influence and unruly. He came out a whole nother man, completely different than what he did on swing shift. What did you bring Petrolina in for tonight? Uh, she was apprehended after she was caught shoplifting with uh, her little sister and her cousins, who she was using as lookouts. She gave a false date of birth. She presented herself as a minor. She was 19, so I confronted her about the issue, and she took off out of, outside of the, the doors. I apprehended her after that, so there was a shoplifting charge, false information to a police officer contributing to the delinquency of the minor for her cousins, and then resisting arrest for trying to escape custody. Shake a booty. Hey, I need you to settle down, OK? E drugs, guns, knives, needles? No, ma'am, I gave him my knife. OK. Oh, yeah. Strip you search. been drinking today? Oh, yeah, never. No. No, this is just me. I make every situation the best. Okay, you need well, to at least you don't make excuses no. for yourself. Woo, woo, shake your booty. Okay, I need you to settle Sorry. down. Listen Sorry. to me. Look. Sorry. Settle down. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a professional search. Go for it. Okay, no. do you have anything hiding up the crotch or widen your studs? No, ma'am. Widen your studs. Nothing hiding up the crotch. Never heard that one before. Well, we've been to jail before. Yeah. Huh. Did you steal this stuff? No, sir. No. I bought that stuff. All right. The stuff I stole stayed at the store. 
Oh, oh yeah, that feels so good to be free. Okay, keep facing the map. Five. Can't take that stuff. Thank you. How much alcohol did you drink today? None. This is just None. how you always right. act. This is me. Sex is Grab your stuff. About time. And let's relax, okay? Relax. Okay, right in here. The problem that we've got with uh, Petrolina right now is that she's not able to calm down enough to be able to be walked through the booking process in a manner that wouldn't cause a disturbance with other prisoners. We've got to see her demonstrate that behavior before we're going to let her out. to do uh, nurse checks on Petrolina, see if she's sobered up a little bit and if she's if her behavior's changed enough to where we could actually bring her out. But it appears that she's still kind of dancing and still acting pretty uh, clean. So. Can I let the nurse check your vitals? Of course. And put you back against the I'm not gonna die. You guys will get me the hell out of here. Gotta stop dancing around. Man, that's just me. God, I'm sorry if you hate your job, but I just love my life. I love my life. I'm just a crazy ass person, all right? You're never gonna meet another me, all right? You guys should be so happy that I'm here. Heck yeah, gorgeous, happy as hell. Life's just too crazy. Shake your booty. Hey, you really need to stand still so the nurses can get See, look, good that's violence. the guy that's so mean to me, man. He just wants me to be sad. Oh, serious. <laughs> Are you always this way? I'm it's always this drunk. way. I'm not even drunk. Give me a breathalyzer. That's what I want right now. A breathalyzer and a drug test. So I can tell you guys that I'm nowhere close to intoxicated. I got two kids. Can you finish it up? They keep me busy enough. What were you doing tonight? Shoplifting. That was not a good idea. Oh, I know that now. Yeah, you're too happy. You can't creep and... I've only been in Utah for three days. Not All no right. drugs, not no alcohol. Please, just let me out. Step back in there. I'll be fine. Going to Okay, hey, Petrolina, the thing is, is you've got to show us you can be calm. You're acting still... Just calm down. I can't calm down. When you guys put me in a room like this, you know what makes me crazy, 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 like that. The problem is, as long as you act like that, you're going to be in there. I'm Okay. If you keep back like this, you're gonna keep sitting in here. Fine. I'm just myself to sleep. Will that get me out of here? Okay. I'm in here by myself. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. You demonstrate to us that you can act that way, then I have no problem pulling you out, okay? Her medical results, her vitals were a little bit too high, still associated with the alcohol that's wearing out of her system. As she sobers up, it's her choice, really, when she comes out. As long as she can demonstrate a level of cooperation, we'll get her out and we'll get her booked through and we won't have any more problems with her. Do the job. Hey, why don't you search the 20 Mexicans that threw rocks at me? Listen to me. Oh, yep. were they too tough for you guys? You've been here before? Hey, yeah, I make it. I make it. I check clean You've been here before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just calm down. You know how this works. I never remember you, kid. You been drinking tonight? A little bit. Uh, I'm using... killing all you. Hey, white you socks. Yeah, you, my. I just wait for you to sleep. Relax. Christopher. Put the... Yeah, this is what happens when you're a victim. This is the only way you've ever helped me. You need to relax. This is the only way you've ever helped me. Deputies do their job. I love the pain. I love the pain. Give me a place to lay down and relax. Hey, so we still play tennis? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta play tennis so you can get it, right? We gotta match? All right, Kristen, I'm just gonna search you. You gotta rip me off your car, I guess, with dope. Hey, I rip off your dope? Yeah. yeah. I want your dope? 
Every time it got dark, and I come here, you hit on that side, John. Yeah? Give me some more. Relax. Give me some more. Relax. Relax. What is he here for? That's a pedestrian in a roadway. Hey, Christopher, I'm worried about your safety. Do you have anything that a doctor sees you for? I like your slack. Thank you. Do I need to worry about you hurting yourself while you're here, Christopher? I hurt myself every day with these. Okay. It definitely should be close ops. I mean, that's a that's okay, a great I got it. Yeah. Good. Christopher, we're gonna go up to your knees, all right? Oh, oh yeah. Go ahead and sit up. I mean, we can't, we can't tell you the truth. There you go. All right, Christopher. Oh, you, you don't want to tell the rest of the story, huh? I'll we'll get to the messages. All right. That's how it works. I want to break a certain folder. I want to race for voter. Yeah, you Mexicans want to put a point on me? I'm killing everybody you. Relax. You're dead. I'm dead. Are you coming to see today? No. No? Just drinking? Tuesday. 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 All right, go back down here and you start raising her up. We have a taser here. We can deliver 15,000 volts of electricity, okay? Uh, you need to do exactly what the deputies tell you and don't resist them. All right, the butter. Relax. All right, Kristen, we need you to remain in this position. And do not get up until you hear this door shut. You understand? Yes, ma'am. So what did the uh, arresting officer tell you about Chris? Said the Reno Police Department's bike team went out on him and he was had a brick and he was gonna throw it at little kids and they pulled their guns out on him and almost shot him. I noticed when he came in that he was claiming that he was a victim. No, they said he might have been hallucinating or he might be under the influence of something. His charge is a minor one, intoxicated pedestrian in a roadway. He's fortunate that he didn't get charged with a much more serious crime, especially given the circumstances. We're going to go check on Chris right now. He came in combative and was very uncooperative early. We want to make sure he's doing all right and that there's no issues with him. Chris. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Want some water or something? Don't be rude to me. If I'm going to help you out, man, you got to be polite. Here, sit up so you can get a drink of water. Oh. How you feeling, man? Not so good? You just feel like sleeping and kicking back? Yeah. Ah, remember where you were when you were picked up? On the ground. On the ground? What street? Remember? Yeah. Down, downtown? Yeah, I think that's right, probably right, a good, right. good call. Whatever he may have been under the influence of seems to be wearing off. When he wakes up in the morning, day shift will probably take care of him, get him booked through, and uh, see if he qualifies for his own recognizance release. After a person gets arrested in Portland, this is where they come. We deal with a lot of people that are intoxicated on uh, alcohol, so anything goes. We don't know what's going to come in through the back door, so there's all sorts of interesting people that come in here. Right over here, sir. Very good, Jeff. Come on up here, belly up to the bar. You been drinking? You think? <laughs> well, yeah, I was just making sure. What a silly question. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you got a beer? Uh, no. I want to sing a little bit. You want to hear something? You want to go for it. Seriously, right. can I? Hand on the counter. Please. This guy's been fantastic tonight. Hand on the counter. Keep facing the counter. Okay. You were a great arresting officer. <laughs> Why are you here tonight? Because I was a bad boy. Really? Mm hmm. What, what did a bad boy do? The bad boy had a little for assault and didn't go to court. Uh oh. That's you why I'm car. here. Oh, well. I'm not really a mean person, but the guy I did it to deserved every damn minute of it. I was going to sing a song for you. Well, let's get this all done, and then you can sing, OK? Can I sing? Yeah. yeah. Put your shoes on first. All right. Then we'll have your sign for your property, and then you'll have your debut. You guys are awesome. OK, where's it at here? Where, where, where did you, uh, you find Jack? Down here, right here. It was in uh, St. John's behind a church off of Lombard and Fisk, another local. 
transient call they were arguing, and he was cool, but he had a couple warrants, and we're going to so get those taken care of. Off you come. Oh, this is for your harassment. property. When you get out, oh, out we compare County, these so to make sure that you're the right person. Hold on. That's good. That's good. Fabulous. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Now, you can take All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Go ahead, do your singing. OK, here we go. I went through a jury box, and I found our wedding ring. I put mine on my finger, and I gave yours a fling. Cross this lonely bedroom of our recent broken home. Tonight I'm sitting at home, digging up bones. I'm digging up bones, I'm digging up bones. Exhuming things that's better left alone. I'm resurrecting memories of a love that's dead and gone. Tonight I'm sitting at home digging up bones. Hey, Jeff, we got to cut it short. I got another guy coming through the door. Oh, crap. OK, good job, though. Go over here and have a seat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, knock it off. All right. Go sit down. Thank you. Right down here, sir. How did I do? Right down here, man. You did great. Thank, Thank you very you much. Guys. But here's the deal. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. Because of this? Am I a criminal? I don't think so. My roommate took my wallet, can't find it. And I said, you know what? You're pissing me off. Don't piss me off. So you punched your roommate, and that's why you're here. It's like someone's stealing your underpants. And that's exactly why I'm here. If someone's stole but it's a, it's a, it's you feel bad about that? Yeah. Um, but it's an old warrant. It's not, you didn't do that tonight. No, it's a warrant. Okay. Six months ago. Six months ago. You yeah. Did. You still living with them? No, hell no. Okay. In a couple okay. minutes, we'll be okay. taking it through the back. Take care, Jeff. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Come on. Come on, Jeff. You too. Yeah. My backers kill me. Head back there, have a seat with the other guys. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> All right, here it goes. You guys ready? You ready for my song? I'm digging up bones. No, just take a seat. Go sit down. I knew you wanted to hear the song, but if it's 15 minutes of fame, we're over. I'll take a happy drunk over an angry drunk every night of the week. I can handle that. So he's, he's a little just, bit entertaining. Yeah. He could be a radio DJ. <sighs> he's got to sober up first. He can do a lot of things, but he's got to sober up first. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, when he gets out of here, he'll take care of himself. He's not a bad guy. He likes his liquor a little too much.